am I the drama kind of vibes? Mm. <sighs> but I think we're finally done. What's Mo doing? I don't know where that nickname came from. Hi, Hi guys. guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Jaden on here with me. This is my son and we have a very special, special announcement. Domini Cosmetics is launching the Unconditional Palette, which is a new holiday palette for us. Unconditional means unconditional love. This palette is so special to me because it represents everything I feel for my family, my friends, so much love, and I hope you guys really, really enjoy it. This most special part about this palette, there is a shade, this deep burgundy shade I named after Jaden. I wanted to name you the deepest shade because mm -hmm. I feel like this shade represents deep loving connection with someone and you are literally my pride and joy, the love of my life. Everything I do is for you. Mm -hmm. So I named this color Jaden after oh, you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. You know, last year, a lot of us weren't able to see our family and our friends physically. A lot of us lost a lot of loved ones last year, which is really, really heartbreaking. So this year, now that we're able to finally reconnect, hug each other, embrace those special moments, this palette was inspired by that. The palette's gonna be available this Friday on dominicosmetics.com. It's gonna be $28 for just the palette by itself. And with this collection, it comes with two new cream matte liquid lips. I have all the information listed in the description along with links and everything like that, so make sure to check that out. So I hope you guys enjoy the palette. Also, this glam eyeshadow look, we're gonna get into that right now, but before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit, wait, which way do I do? It. Don't forget to don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get in to this video. Uh, one more time, one more time. Ready? Which way? This way or that way? This way. Ready? One, two. This is our new custom mini palette. Now when we come out with a mini palette, it's always going to be in this. I'm going to open her up. You know we like large and in charge here at Domini Cosmetics. You can fit a full size face brush in all of our palettes. But with these mini palettes, it's basically like an average eyeshadow shape. Our mini is, is not really a mini. It's just like a regular size. So I'm going to start off with the transition shade. Anytime I always create a palette, I always think base, transition, brightener, highlight, drama, I go in that order. If I ever come out with a palette, you don't have to worry. You're gonna have all those elements in your palette every single time. I don't want you to think so hard about your makeup routine. I wanna simplify it, make it easier for you. So I'm gonna start off with the transition shade. This is Warm Hearted. It is a beautiful, beautiful, rosy, warm pink. And I'm gonna take that on my crease. So I'm gonna take this fluffy brush right here and work that right in the crease. I did the unconditional shoot with my mom. It was our first photo shoot together and her first photo shoot in life. So she had tons of fun with this shoot. She got her makeup done by one of the best makeup artists, Makeup by Rob, and her hair done by Edson Hair. She looked so incredibly beautiful. She's always had beautiful skin, so she looks so young. She doesn't wear very much makeup, but she just Oh my god, she's already beautiful, but she transforms into this glamazon. Her smile the whole shoot was from ear to ear, and it lit up my whole world. I had the best time. Jaden was in the shoot too, and I picked out, we went to, oh my god, we went to so many stores to pick out the shade. I wanted him to wear his shade, like in a little button-up. So you'll see that on my Instagram. He is in this maroon button-up. Finally, we found the button-up after three hours of shopping but honestly it was so fun it was Jaden's first photo shoot too and he felt really special and it was just a really nice cozy feel because it was done in my home first of all it's like as close as you can get to the heart right in my kitchen my mom loves to cook she had a little apron on and she was showing me how to bake cookies in the shoot we also had like a spaghetti dinner for the shoot and all of those things were props but it's so funny because afterwards, my mom was so inspired. She's actually a really great cook. She should probably come out with a cookbook. She is an amazing cook. She learned from my grandmother. My grandmother was an amazing cook. They kill it when it comes to the holidays. As you guys know, if you followed me for a while, if you don't know, my grandmother was a big part of my life. She actually named me Dominique. Every time I think of the brand, I think of her. And she passed in 2019. If she would have been here, she definitely would have been in the shoot. But we miss her very much. And my mom learned so many of her cooking techniques from my grandmother. And I am just so excited to learn all of the cooking techniques that she learned from her. So right after this shoot, she actually taught me how to make 
homemade cookies. She makes homemade everything, by the way. And then we ended up making homemade spaghetti because, not because of the shoot, but because Jaden actually loves pasta. And so my mom was like, oh, I know how to make this homemade pasta sauce. She was like, we don't have to do homemade pasta noodles, but we can definitely do the sauce. And so I was like, yes, show me how to do it. And it took like three hours, but I learned it and I, it was the best freaking spaghetti I've ever had in my life. And the cookies, I posted them, you guys. And a lot of you were like, I need to see the recipe. The cookies were this big, like they get so huge. We made chocolate chip cookies and they were so freaking fluffy. And it's so funny because in the shoot, we're making cookies and we're eating spaghetti. I'm gonna pick up this really pretty color called Corazon. If you guys didn't know, I am Mexican. My mom's Mexican, my dad's Guyanese. So almost all of my products have a Spanish shade name to kind of pay tribute to my Spanish culture. And if you don't know Spanish, I'm gonna teach you with every single product we create. So Corazon means heart. And for Corazon, I have a very light, peachy pink that's gonna go all over our lid these formulas if you know you know you know <laughs> our, our formula is pretty bomb I'm not gonna go too much into that because I talked about it before and it's really good you just have to try it very silky smooth buttery and all of those things so I'm gonna take corazon and I'm gonna pack it onto my eye I like my lid like for this look I want it to look bright smooth and flawless so pretty and the light peachy pink hue in this eyeshadow makes my heart so happy for the holidays honestly you can use this as a brightener you can even use this in your crease because of that pinky peach undertone it's a really nice it glides on so beautifully so just like that and then I'm gonna blend out the edges so we don't look crazy I'm gonna take warm-hearted and put it in my crease are you bored Jaden mm -hmm. I can tell <laughs> Jaden's with me right here want to say hi we well, were gonna say hi in the intro. You gonna say hi again? Mm -hmm. Say hi again. Hi. <laughs> By the way, we're trying the sugar cookie latte. Not that great. I'm going back into warm hearted because I want more of that punch of color. Since we put in corazón, it kind of overtook it a little bit. Then I'm gonna take the same color, warm hearted, and I'm gonna take that on the lower lash line. If I can go back to a really happy time, I would go back to the photo shoot day because seeing my mom light up the way she did. That was a memory that I will never forget. Seeing Jaden for the first time in like the photo shoot, like with a photographer, Alex is our photographer. We always use Alex. He is amazing. I'm gonna link everybody below. He is such a great photographer and he was so good. And Jaden like just kind of like posed however like he would give him direction. It was really cool. It was an experience that I definitely will not forget. And I wish I had my mom in this video, you guys, but she doesn't live here. She actually lives in Houston. So I'm so happy that she was able to fly down for this because she is a pediatric endocrinology nurse practitioner. She's a nurse practitioner. She can work anywhere, but she currently is working with children. She has a heart of gold, saves lives every day. She is a hero. To get her down here was really tough but I'm so happy that she had actually taken the time off already. It so happened to be around her birthday time. I threw her birthday, I put that on my story so you guys can go check it out. It's a vlog I put up, my first vlog on this channel, so go check it out. After that, I flew her out to LA and we did the shoot. So she had a big celebration for her 50th and she was living her best life. I really wanna do her makeup with this palette, especially because she was one of the people in my life that inspired this palette as well, other than Caesar and Jaden. Cross your fingers that we can get her in another video. Maybe comment below, let me know if you wanna see something like that. If you guys wanna see it enough, or if you thumbs up this video, I don't know, if I get more than like a thousand likes, maybe I will bring her on my channel. So give it a thumbs up, comment below if you want me to do a makeover on my mom. Now, we're gonna go into Jaden, the best color in the palette. Jaden, I'm using your shade. I've been waiting for this moment. Jaden, I'm using your shade. The deepest burgundy in the palette. It's so beautiful. Brings out all the drama. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the drama kind of vibes? You want your own YouTube channel? Yeah. What would you do? I don't know. You used to kind of do some gaming on there. Mm -hmm. What happened to that? Mm -hmm. School? Jaden is an honorable student, you guys. He gets A's and B's every single time. He's so smart. He is always studying or reading. You guys also, Jaden is in three 
He's in three things. He's in jujitsu, he's in football, he is in piano. Am I missing anything? No. Okay. He's in a lot of different sports. And so we keep him busy because last year we were literally, we all did not have a social life. Obviously me and you didn't have a social life. He didn't have a social life. Like it was crazy. Everything was on Zoom. I only saw my mom through FaceTime. This year we're able to like actually get together and experience life together. So that's so nice. And I'm so grateful for her health. And I pray for any of you guys who lost a family member last year. I feel like we need to have a moment for you and for your loved ones. And my heart goes out to you. Just know that they are your angel watching over you. And they're never gone from your, from your heart, from your memories that will always be that will always live forever and the whole meaning of this palette is for you it's for you for your loved ones i hope that you get this for someone that you love your mom your friends your sister your brother anybody that you feel like you have an unconditional loving connection with send them this palette because that's what this was for embrace those moments because we're not here forever I learned that as soon as I lost my grandmother in 2019. You never know when it's gonna be your last time saying, I love you or see you later, talk to you next time. So just really be in those moments with the ones that you love is all I'm trying to express to you guys. That was just my personal inspiration behind the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take that darker shade and put it right on the lower lash line. I want to use Jaden as a liner as well, so I'm going to get a angled liner brush, pick up Jaden and put it right on the lash line. You can also do like a smoky wing with this. I was just recently on Becky G's Facebook show with Angel Mac Daddy and Manny Amiwe. We were talking about our brands and our Latin culture. I was also kind of talking about how I always have motivational messaging in my palettes and my products on my YouTube channel, it's everywhere. And I realized that I don't think I've ever really explained why. Obviously to promote positivity and good mental health because I care about you guys. But I just realized this one night when I was walking with my husband, he had said something like, you know, you're always so positive, whatever, in your messaging, whatever. But I feel like, I was like, yeah, I'm positive for a reason. Do you know why? And he didn't even know why. He was like, no, because you care about the way people feel. And I'm like, yeah, but do you know why it started? And honestly, if we're being super, super honest, we were talking about, because I always have in, inside the packaging, I have my motivational quotes. We're a self-funded brand, so anything that we create is coming out of our pockets. So he's like, oh, it's a little bit cheaper if we take it out. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. It's it's the inside of the packaging. It goes with our tagline, Beauty Inside and Out, and like the whole meaning of the brand. And I just went into detail about it. I mean, I was like, you know why I have this? He's like, well, yeah, because you want to promote positivity. I was like, no, but you know why I, cre I started doing this? Because I was in a really dark place when I started with makeup. It didn't come from like a happy place. I was very insecure and I didn't feel good about myself. I felt ugly. I was being bullied like every day about my under eye circles. And that's what pushed me into makeup initially. Other than when I was a really little girl, applying makeup like my mom. I always kind of loved playing with color, but why I got into makeup was because of my mental health. And I never wanted somebody to feel the way I felt. And once I started applying makeup and putting makeup on, and I've told this story before, I took my mom's concealer, I put it on, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup or touch her makeup. So I put it on because I was so tired of being bullied and I, I was so tired of feeling the way I felt like about myself. And so I covered up my under eyes and I went to school. And at that moment of walking into school, I felt the transformative power of makeup. I felt confident. I feel like people were talking to me and like, I felt like people were noticing me more and being a little bit nicer and asking me, what did I do different or all these things. And I, I look back and I realize that I don't think it was because they were doing that. I think that it was because of the way I felt. I felt more confident. I had a little boost in my step. I was confident enough to like speak my mind, talk to people, say hi. Before I was very shy, like embarrassed of myself, just like all these negative feelings and thoughts. But the makeup truly transformed my confidence. And from there I told my mom what was going on. She had no idea. They let me 
start to wear concealer and foundation. I started doing people's makeup in school and I became like the locker room makeup artist. And eventually makeup became a tool for me to express myself through creativity and just to bring out the confidence in myself. And over time, I became more confident without makeup. Honestly, I'm not like super confident without makeup still. I'm always working on it. It can always improve, but because it came from a place of negativity for me. I always felt like I had to, it was my personal mission for myself to implement motivational messaging into anything I create. I'm gonna go in with Love and Light on the inner corners. So when I started my YouTube channel, I started saying like motivational quotes at the end. Back in the old days, I would write it on the screen and now I have it at the end of every video. I've had it that way for years. But when I created my brand, I was like, I have to implement this into my brand somehow because this is the core of why I even got into makeup. I always wanna promote self-empowerment and confidence in whatever I'm creating because it is so incredibly important, but how you feel is so much more important than how you look. And I feel like they sometimes definitely go hand in hand. And that is the reason why I always have motivational quotes because it came from a place of darkness for me. I always wanna make sure that I have that element in my products. So now I'm gonna apply the Glitter Eternal. And this doesn't need glue, it just applies by itself really nicely. I'm gonna put it on the lid. Eternal for me means eternal love. And this glitter shines so bright and it's so makes your eye look so glowing. That is what I feel from the love that I feel for my family and friends. I felt like this was the perfect name for this. If it's really dark outside and you can't see anything, if you're wearing this glitter, you'll be good. So this glitter is really pretty. I love how easy it applies. I'm gonna add a little bit more soul to the top of it. Give it a little more, a little more depth. So I'm using a densely packed, kind of like a pencil brush. I'm gonna take soul which is this really pretty bronze shade. And I'm gonna work that at the tail end of the look. I'll do so many different looks with this. I just wanted to utilize every color in this palette for you guys, but I will be doing different types of looks on my Instagram reels and TikTok. Also, how do you guys feel about reels? Do you like watching reels or do you like watching like regular IG videos? So I'm actually putting soul in this, right at the center right here, there's like an open space. So I'm gonna put soul there. This is pretty much what we are gonna be doing. I'm gonna add some mascara, lashes, and I'll be back and we're gonna be ready to do the lips. All right, so I am back with my lashes, mascara done. I'm gonna go on to the lips. With this collection, I created two new cream matte liquid lips. I am so happy I get to show you guys these finally. So these are two top selling lip liners, Dulce and Crush. You guys seem to really love them. I actually really love them too. They're the perfect nudie pink and nudie peach. So I have Dulce right here, this warm peach, and Crush, which is a mauvey pink. I think with this look, I'm gonna put on Crush which is the mauve pink. We have a lot of pink going. Let's just keep that vibe rolling. I know I use a lot of nude and beige and peaches, so I'm gonna be using that color a lot in other videos. I wanna swatch them both on my lips, so I'm gonna do Crush first. If you've tried Dominique Cosmetics, you have some of our stuff, you know our formulation is always on point, but that's not really what this collection is about. It's about the love that it symbolizes, and I hope that I, I did my best for it to come through in this packaging the color story and everything like that so hopefully you guys feel the love coming through the screen so this is excuse my zits i hope they don't distract your guys' eyes from the lip lip color but this is crush it's so pretty i'm just so happy oh my god i'm i love the way this color came out this is a shade dulce it means candy or sweet in spanish and i'm applying that currently to my lips perfect nude it's gonna look good with any of your looks. Yeah, so you can choose any color or you can mix them together. I'm actually, I wanna mix them together. Those of you who are gonna get the bundle, you can see what they look like together. So there we go, we have both of those on. That's what they look like. If you want everything in this video in one, I am gonna create a bundle. It's gonna be $54 for the mini palette and that's not so many and the two lips if you want everything together for the holidays if you want to get give this as a gift to somebody you love and care about that's what i'm hoping 
you guys do. This has a really special meaning to it. So if you're just watching this and you want to give it to your best friend, your mom, your aunt, your favorite cousin, whoever, this is going to them with lots of love. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to thumbs it up and let me know you liked it in the comments. If you guys wanna see me do my mom's makeup, I have to fly her down to LA. I really, really would love to do a makeover on her. If you guys wanna see that, make sure to let me know in the comments. And that is pretty much it. Before I leave you guys, I always share a motivational message. And the motivational message for this is love the moments, you'll cherish the memories. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I love these moments that you're having because these are experiences that are going to live in your heart and mind forever. I love you guys. If you missed these two videos on the side, make sure to check them out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. If you love beauty, if you wanna be friends, if you're a mom who just loves makeup, we're one in the same. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye, Bye. you guys.